In this video, I will show you how to build your application with Flutter. So first of all, we will remove everything on this screen, on this app to start from scratch. Okay, so inside the LEB folder, so library folder, we have the main file. In this file, from the line one to 118, this is all the code required to build this application. So you press on the button and you have a countdown. Okay, so what we will do is remove from the line six until the end, we will delete everything. And now we will only have the one to five lines. As you can see, we have an error right here. This error is because if I show you and I go back, uh, I go back with what we had previously, right here. So this is a class called my app. And when Flutter tried to run app, so run the application, it say, okay, run the application on this class. And this class is there, so there is no problem. But when we delete it, there's no more class right here on called my app. So what we can do is create one. We will go right here and then we will write state less widget. Right here, we will select this one, stateless W, and we will take the one with the white square. If you don't have it, that means you need to go inside the extension and install the awesome Flutter snippet. Awesome Flutter snippet, this one. So I will open this one. You will need this and install it. Perfect. Then, if you go back inside your files, what I will do is I will just press Control Shift B, and this, or just Control B, this will uh, give me or remove the explorer, just the line on this part, so you will see better the, the code. So I will press Control B. So we can write state less widget. And if you have nothing appear on the screen, by example, I click somewhere else and I come back. I can press control space to have everything, every suggestion. Now we'll click on the stateless widget. This uh, code everything for me for the stateless widget. This is why we install the awesome Flutter snippet. Then we will remove everything from the key because we will not use it right now. This is a more advanced concept. Then, as you remember, if we want to solve this error, if we go over, uh, the function my app is not defined. So we need to define it right here. We need to call this class my app. So now you understand. And if we change, if we want to write something else, my app flutter, that means we will need to change this one as well. So you can write the, the name of your function as uh, like you want. S but there is one little touch is if I make a control B again, I will see inside my test folder that my widget test need to have the same name. So if I change it, I will need to change it there as well, like that. For the course, we will just keep the my app and main my app as well. I will remove that and remove, oh, I will say control Z and remove this one as well. So I just came back with what I, I had previously. So I remove this, perfect. I will uh, remove the uh, side column right here. So I will say control B and here we go. Now we are inside our class, my app that extend the stateless widget. And what the stateless widget is doing is building something on the application and it will build what we return. So right now it will build a container. But now you will learn about the most important widget. It is the material app. And you will need a material app like that. 
and then you can press Ctrl space to have the option and we will select this one with the parentheses right here, the square uh, purple. We take this one. Then, if I refresh the application, now what we have? We have this red error apps application. And this is because we will need, as you can see, the home. So the home will be an argument inside the widget material app. So everything that is a, a widget will be in green. And inside you can add argument. To find out which argument you have inside each widget, you can press inside the parentheses, control space. Then you have everything. And if we go down, we can find the one that the error suggests us, the home. We will click on it. And then if we go over home, we can see that home argument want a widget. Okay, that's perfect. Then I can send a widget to the material app. And this widget will be the second most important widget to remember. And it is called scaffold. So we will select this one, the purple one with the parentheses, and I will press on it. Now, if I take the application, I will need to restart the application because it has already built. And if I click on restart, this will rebuild the app. And then we will see a white screen. And this white screen is there because of the scaffold. Perfect. So the most important widget to remember, the first one is the material app. Inside this one, we have an argument that called the next widget. That is the second most important widget, call it the scaffold. So you need to remember that a widget always start with a capital letter inside widget. So inside the parentheses, we have arguments that we can populate with the control space. And each argument will take something. In this case, it will take a widget. So that is good. Last thing uh, before closing this video that I will show you is if you right click on your mouse and you see format document. So it is shift alt F. If you click on it, this will format your document to see it better. So nothing changed on the screen, but it is the way that you look at your code that will change. And Flutter will update this code with the, the comma that you see. So if we remove this comma, Flutter will, will bring this bracket right here. So let's test it and format document. As you can see, Flutter bring the bracket if there is no comma. So every time you have two brackets like that, two uh, parentheses, you uh, most of the time can put a comma and format document, and then you have your code uh, that look way better. So see you on the next video.